You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. You sick? You need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDG, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I actually mean it. Oh, wow. Uh, for real? We have a for real, for real? special guest, uh, a return to special guest, but we get into Harry, how you feeling? Oh, you I'm good? doing excellent, Dante. I'm it's doing good excellent. To see you. Doing good. Having a tough time keeping these gators down. Difficult. But other than that. Difficult. Difficult. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. I want to take this time to introduce my guest. It's my dog. My dog. My dog. Uh, just, he's been on the show before. Uh, uh, he's uh, uh, the OG of podcasting. Funny dude, smart dude, good friend of mine. Um, give it up for Keith Malley of hey. Keith and the Girl. What's up, Keith? Keith from Keith and the Girl here. Uh, good to see you guys again. I do have to come clean and tell people that I did not hear the intro that you guys just heard, meaning... Uh, you won't like the fucking medicine, but it's oh, good. To, and I was so excited. You want to hear it? Be- oh, it can't play. Is it iPad down? <laughs> which, 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 the which, intro. He wants to. Keith did not get to hear the intro. What the intro that we did. The show intro. The show oh. intro that you're obviously gonna later put in. That's fine. I'll, yeah. I'll listen at home later. Yeah, but yeah. That is so good. I'm not alpha. Oh, I'm oh, not beta. I'm better. <laughs> yeah. I was like you. Yeah, but, 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 but. I, yeah. I love yeah, it's it. A great it went, intro. It's caffeine. I love it. Yeah. It, it does, gets you hyped. Yeah, it does yeah. get you a little hyped. Yeah. Yeah. We usually play it, but we're still, we're just, sure. like I tell you this, you're like the third person in the studio since the COVID. Yeah. And, still uh, figuring this we're all out. We're still getting the sound right, getting oh. the, the, my iPad cuts on and all, everything that we had. You know how it is, because you've right. been you've Dante been just yours. turned this room into a weed den. Yeah. Well, uh, I just he, come here and smoke yeah. and uh, watch movies. Um, but yeah, the because uh, you guys have been doing Zoom since we're the whole thing easily over wherever we're at, you know, whenever we got the news. So going on two years soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kenda, my co-host, has a big uh, autoimmune disease. She's finally uh, stepping out a little bit. Mm. I I don't. I'm not convinced. Uh, it's things aren't going to get worse again. I, I don't want to buy a, a buy a studio right now. Yeah. And so yeah, we're still we're still zooming it. Oh, okay. So you're you're not. I mean, you got rid of the studio altogether for right now. Yeah, we we wow. got we oh, had because you were renting that space, yeah. so it doesn't make we, sense. We rented it in January. COVID comes in March. Oh boy. Ah, yeah. what's another couple thousand? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know. Crazy. A- and I, I, I said, hey, how about I give you this much, landlord? And we just, uh, we just called the wash. And he goes, okay. But as he goes, okay, he puts his hand out to shake hands. I'm like, this is the. This and the I point. knew this I had point. to get it, him to accept it or treat me like a man that I had to go. I might have COVID now <laughs> and yeah. shake that hand because you know men don't know how to talk to each other unless right, it's a right. fucking handshake. You gotta have a handshake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if those are not, I mean, I, y'all should know Keith, but Keith was the take the cabinet, the take the cabinet off, and throw out, throw away the paper or the towels. Yeah, right. Keith, Keith's ex-wife. Uh, he came on that. We followed this saga while it was on the show. Mm-hmm. It kind of kind of happened in real time because Keith has been on many times because he's a great guest. And then uh, at the time he was married, had did relay a story that he was trying to work out this issue, this particular issue with his wife, that she would constantly leave the cabinets open. Yeah. Where, to the point where it really Ridiculous. seemed personal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost yeah. like it's intentional. Like how many cabinets would be open? Uh, 
It, it could be two. It, two, could, it two. could be a little baby one or two. It, it, if I knew all I had to do to keep you happy was, let's say, give you a card once a month. You know what? That's weird, but I'll do it. Right. All you have to do to keep Just me happy is close, close a fucking, fucking ca- And don't tell me like you married a mental person. Right. You weren't done. Yeah. I, you're in the next room, and I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. I was gonna. I'm not done. I don't want to fuck a child. Yeah. We still talk, by the way. Yeah. We're getting yeah. along great. That's I'm cool. gonna make a lasagna in three days. Just relax. Right. Right. And, and What's I said, your fucking problem, I said, Keith? I said take all the cabinets off. Well, we came up with a couple <laughs> suggestions. There were a couple <laughs> suggestions how to deal with the cabinet thing. You said take all of them off. <laughs> I suggested if you didn't want to take them off, draw swastikas on the inside so that if they remained open, there would that be swastikas. Like yeah. And then I said if you were insistent about taking them off, I said you walk around wearing a karate gi and every time one was open, you Side just did a roundhouse kick. Sweet chin and music. Went, oh, yeah. And just broke through the cabinet. I mean, that's a solution. Right. We just got a divorce instead. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> that was another option. Which, I'm trying to go 202, but we're old school in the end. Which we... Which which we we actually was like uh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> like we were right. like, this yeah, is, uh, this is a fundamental thing yeah. about your happiness that she did because it care. wasn't about the cabinets. It was no, an issue of respect and concern of, or of concern or yeah, paying which, attention. Yeah, which also went to it, it goes in there somewhere to the point when we realized, as simple as it is, that we're more friends than lovers, mm. and we didn't mm. care to fix it. Uh, I mm. would think, you know what? Let me take the time, make a romantic gesture, and fix it. You know, tomorrow, though. Right, right. And I right. and I have to assume she's uh, was thinking the same thing. And mm. then when she brought up a divorce, I'm like, okay, that could have been a bluff. Right. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. that's so weird that you said that. <laughs> I, then yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a good sign done. that you're like, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> but I get, I also get a, a sense that you don't get bluffed a lot. Right. I mean, anybody that knows you, you, know, you don't bluff. Right. Because even if you don't want to go in, you're going in. Uh, sure. Let's, you know, you did sure. catfish What are dad. you talking about? Tell me. Yeah. You did catfish your dad for like Well, a, there's uh, more updates on my, that, right? My dad wrote uh, to my ex this after the divorce, two years after the divorce, hey, whatever happened to uh, you and Keith after all? They never had a talking relationship right, like right. that. It's completely weird. Mm. I, Me and my uh, ex still talk. She goes, hey, I got this email. What the fuck? You know, it's probably more solidifies she made the right choice. Right, like, right, what right, the right, fuck? Right, right. And, and I go, hey, can I pretend I'm you, start a new email, and uh, write my dad? And she's like, yeah, can you just get out of my life? You know? yeah, as long <laughs> as I'm not involved. <laughs> whatever you want to do. This is why I'm gone. That went on for a full year. A full year of you catfishing your dad. Catfishing my dad. We're now turning it into a book. I'm literally writing it right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. A full year of him. And he uh, was all in. He was He was all in, and I'd go, Dad, it's me. I was her the whole time. There's things that you don't know that we talked. No, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, everything because yeah. I literally wrote no, it. That was and me. And you wrote me. You There's don't things you don't know. You don't understand. God damn it. Wow. And then uh, we'll, we're getting written up in things, uh, the the most recent being Vulture, and I had fake cat. I mean, this has been a year now that he knew it was me. Fake. I had the same email address, fake, uh, fake Catherine, my ex, wrote, oh, boy, here's an article. I was afraid of that. <laughs> there's the easy link to keithandthegirl.com slash dad. So did you keep her email? Were you, you, she let you I have, made a new email. And that then, was very similar. And she, no, actually. She, uh I changed it completely and said, oh, that was my work email. Oh, uh, this is a more personal email. Uh, Catherine L 86 and and uh, uh, that reached me here. Uh, he couldn't he, he couldn't went, go he, fast he, enough. He, I, I see what's going on out there with with, uh, with guys and women and how thirsty they get. And, and you all was, see this. Women post the things. Hello? 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 I'd like to take you out. Hello? Cunt! Yeah. Cunt, bitch! <laughs> bitch! It goes real fast. So, it goes so, from zero to 60 pretty fast. Right. So I just leave my dad waiting for four days and then go, oh, hi again. And, you know, he's like, oh, God, thank God, we're back. Oh, my oh God. My goodness. Yeah, it was, it, was, wow. it was too easy. And uh, she got more inf- – fake her got more information out of him that than you, I did in 45 did. years. Really? Yeah. Really? Jesus. Yeah, but do you think he was really honest with Kate? Yeah, uh, he, honest – uh, he's, he's always a liar, but – yeah, I found that uh, I was able to figure him him out more. Right, right. It, right. It's the most talking he's ever done. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But wow. you not, not verbatim. You were like, oh, I I get what this is. I I can I think this part might be a lie, but this part is like, 
Yeah, I do believe this story. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like watching stand up where you're like, this guy's yeah. making a joke, but this part he really means yeah, and hopes yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. like yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Oh my god! So, fucked up relationship. Oh, so cool! You go cool. It was so, so cool. It was <laughs> but so cool. disturbing. Well, no, but yeah, so yeah. cool that you turn it into something. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, yeah. that's and a stand-up the, and comedian, the they, and the artist in Dante right. is like, well, and it's, it's also the fact that I like. Well, Keith, Keith is one of the more sane people yeah. I know, and I'm like, how'd that happen? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. When you, yeah. But the other thing is, your dad tried to fuck your wife, but you didn't turn it into anything. Dante. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's where you're jealous. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. It's that's so why you're. Fun. That's why you're flies. so respectful of Keith. You're like, <laughs> my, man, my, <laughs> that's incredible that you were able to turn that into a book. God damn it! Here's a, here's that's a, that's what comedians are like. <laughs> man, you ever tell that story? No. You've told it on the area a little bit, but I mean, it's been well, a while. I'll say it with Keith. So, that never stops you from telling other stories. Let's so, do it. So he, uh, he, so um, we, my, Your my, dad. my, my dad was older. He was like. Uh, late eighties. My dad's eighties, and yeah. he was he was real grabby, right? Okay. Mm. And my my niece was still small, and we had this little babysitter, right? That was here, and we um. Now I I remember being when he was older, like early eighties. If I would if I had brought a girl home and she tits and ass and belly out he, right. he we my sister would have to restrain him he he would really have to hold his because he was so grabby did he play alzheimer's or anything uh, I, I, he just he was born 1920 kid you know so, okay sweet oh, you need to smile okay but he bit. doesn't see a, an escalator and go what the fuck is this you yeah. kind of catch things you know you should you should yeah. learn as society <laughs> goes on yeah he, he uh and this was also my father let me see my father passed 2011 he was 93 okay. so we, we we also talk in 90s right like anita hill 90s, like still, that, that was a big deal. We didn't go. Hmm, why is that a big deal? Well, you we ever, still got yeah, it. But you ever listen to? You ever listen to what they go? Are you doing this to get a book? That, right. That, sure. That, that, well, that still happens. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. But the um, he uh he the, the it, my niece was getting a her confirmation, and the, the babysitter went to walk by walk out, move over to get let her out, and my pop just grabbed her ass. Sam, and so uh. <laughs> And but this was the crazy. He 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 grabbed her ass and then slipped her forty dollars, okay. right? And well, the that's thing just that a classy thing to do. The thing I was really upset about was I was like, "Come on, one ass grab. That's not worth forty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dad. You 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 got to drive us out of house and home. <laughs> you, you know how many ass grabs we gonna have to pay for? <laughs> um, she, but this was the thing. She took the forty dollars, right? And then she snitched on him, which uh. It's, Listen, make the deal or don't make the deal, bitch. You know what I mean? Like you I keep... hear ya, I hear ya, but you 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 did it before we made the deal. So don't tell me what the deal is. And yeah, yeah, and, and there Ferris, wasn't yeah. a and I just told you the importance of a handshake. Yeah. Right. That never happened. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> so um so I was married at the time, I was married to my first wife and I and I go uh I go, yo, you know, it's just crazy. Uh, Tell, relaying the story. Yeah, I'm like, this is fucking my pops is grabbed. I go, do you believe that? Damn. She goes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you don't say. She goes, absolutely. She oh, goes, I most definitely believe that. She goes, that. why do you think I don't go to your house, your, 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 your dad's right. house anymore? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she was like, he would always touch me inappropriately, rub my, just creep shit. And uh, and he, he would always do that. And then he, and, <clears throat> and I go, why didn't you tell me? She was like, I didn't think you would believe me. And it's your father. And I'm like, trust me, I would have believed you. Um, so then I went back and all ex-girlfriends that I could numbers. You I, called up? Every last one of them. Wow. He, now what about you? Do you have to look into that? None of them felt comfortable telling you that. Why? Uh, well, one one did. Well, my father was like, he was telling her what I like. What it, what he thinks I like? What? Yeah, it was was weird. He's like, an ass to mouth, my kid. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. You know, he's, a, he's just a, like his pops <laughs> and the cats in the and cradle she, and the silver spoon. Oh, he's no boy of mine. <laughs> and, he's, and he was uh he was a little uh she she screamed him out and stuff like. But I had no idea that there was this inappropriate touchy stuff because right. I didn't really bring a lot of. I mean, I brought him around, but when I brought him around, it was like, you know. 
in it, you know, hey, yeah. blah, 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 and my mom. Just very casually. Yeah, and I mean, it was a lot of hoes. Yeah, it was yeah. a whole lot of hoes, right. so it was, but it's, at least. It's almost like you wonder how your dad had the time to grab the ass. Yeah, how did he grab him so, so quickly? <laughs> Run it through there like the express train. He would work two jobs yeah. and still find time. That was the greatest generation. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what it. we did. That's what they do. We went to war. We fought Nazis. <laughs> right. But that never they stopped grabbed, us. We, did, we grabbed ass and fought Nazis. How about that? Huh? Right. Who you got two hands? God gives you two hands for a reason. Well, your dad's more city. We're from the country, so he didn't. He didn't grab necessarily, but he he uh he he would be creepy to everyone and like yeah. you are so pretty and it's like that's the sixth time you yeah, said yeah, that yeah. and like uh, uh his leg bumped her leg. Oh and boy, it's, like, it's not what you think it is, but I yeah, wonder if that I got at the what? room excited like. You just said that and yeah. winked at me, and yeah. we don't. We, our relationship is superficial. None of this makes sense. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was. It was real. It was real. Wow. Creepy. And then, and then it was like, oh, I, I think I called like seven different girls up, that and they like, all yeah. confirmed like, most definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And one was like, "Sorry, I can't talk to you, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Um It's weird you call me because me and your dad just broke up. <laughs> right. And I'd love to bitch about it. <laughs> I mean, you know him better than anybody, right. so I figured I'd talk to you. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, and I don't know why. I, it, I don't know why. It's, why it came well, up? I guess what do you mean? It, it, why it didn't bother me. Um... I see. Here's I the weird we part. Along. When you told me that story, it was a nurse or something. So it might have happened more than once. Well, if it's every woman he ever dated, I mean, there's probably a nurse. A nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. grabbed a nurse too. I mean, everybody grabbed yeah. a nurse. Like, Hello, nurse. <laughs> yeah. So, but um, this the, the first story was the babysitter. That's when it when it yeah, went that's down. That's when it went down, and I mm-hmm. said to my wife, and she said, absolutely, absolutely. And wow. and then I I was started doing research, and everybody was like, oh yeah, your, your pops was. Mm-hmm. Some of them said your dad was such a charmer. I was like, this bitch fucked my dad. <laughs> <laughs> When you called up, they're like, "Oh, I remember that." They said it with glee, like, "Oh, yeah." Your dad was a charmer. He was though. He was a smooth motherfucker. So you know. Yeah, that sounds smooth. Here's forty dollars. Like my, my dad was a smooth motherfucker, uh, and then he aged out. Yeah, you know what I mean. He didn't yeah. keep up with it. Like he, he was smooth for the seventies and eighties. Keep his tools sharp. Yeah, man, yeah. school tool too. Always keep your tools mm-hmm, sharp. Mm-hmm. Never know when you might have to go hunting. <laughs> But yeah, um, but it was interesting. It was very interesting wow. that, that, and I, I, I'm trying to think. I think I really feel like he didn't like me, and so it didn't really make. I didn't give a fuck. Well, he definitely I mean? didn't respect you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He didn't like me. He didn't respect me, and I, I feel like he, uh, we just wasn't cool. So I was right. like, I was like, yo, this dude is corny. <laughs> Did he still want your respect? Like my dad definitely wanted my respect. He, yeah, it's but just I would, impossible. I, I saw that movie. That TV show Succession, yeah. and everybody's loving, and I'm like, I hate it. And then I realized yeah. why. Like, oh, yeah. well, they kind of respect him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did something great with his life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My my dad expected that respect, and then I just I was, but he's the one that taught me respect. He's always say respect is a two way street. Sure, <laughs> sure. Now go you to your to room. Give it, to, you have to <laughs> give it to get it. And then when you checked him on that same shit, yeah. then it was a whole different rule. So I remember him. Uh, you know, he had he was older. And he was like, um, I, I think me and my nephew was getting into it, and he stood in the middle of us. And he was like, you want to fight somebody? You fight me. I think it was wow. like 80. And I was like, dog, you you wear the pants. I'm not <laughs> fighting nobody to wear the <laughs> pants. Come on. You, you slowly know, just push him over, I, I so watch, humiliating. I go, watch you learn to not piss the bed. How about you <laughs> do that first? Oh, and then we'll talk about So I get why he would hate me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was, it was a you, gut you just start pissing your pants in yeah. front of him and go, am I winning? <laughs> am I winning yet? Did I win yet? You, oh, you got me beat. You already <laughs> right. pissed your pants, right? So Right. My dad's thing was... Uh, I'm your father, not your friend, and I understand the point of that. Yeah. But you don't have to say it first thing in the morning. Right, right. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not your friend. I'm like, okay, well, can I get my some My dad, uh, anytime we go, like, we get upset with some crazy shit he was saying, I'd, I'd be like, come on, man. And he goes, I'm not your man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I'm not your man. <laughs> right. 
as if you said boy, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny how anything he gets, Harry gets with his father, it makes him laugh in like a kiddish belly right. laugh because he can finally say it because uh, it's, it's also not an accurate impression right, right. So i can't do one so i just become the iron sheik he's irish yeah the dad's actually irish. i will i will i will break your <laughs> back i break I will your back your ass and humble you right. <laughs> i will make you humble for my eighth birthday yeah. jesus dad <laughs> Um, your your dad never hit on your. Uh... Uh, no, he's been sorry to say. I guess I'm the odd man out in the room. Uh, no, he was always okay. very respectful and uh, nice. Yeah, you uh, soft, yo. Yeah, man. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'm. Uh, I guess I, uh, I'm the pussy in this room. This dude don't even hit. He, he doesn't what even have to fight his it? dad for his wife. No. What the fuck yeah. How do you How do you know if you won? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess they weren't hot enough. Now I'm now I'm doubting myself. Everybody kind of wants their parents' respect, right? And uh, if they don't, if they're not had, into yeah. your woman. Then how do you know they love you, you or respect you? Did you right. get one that impresses them? Yeah, that's true. See? That's true. Now I got to think about that. You see, you gotta, we're, we're giving you a lot of shit to think about today. Dude. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything. No, he's never been inappropriate with uh, any girls that I've ever brought home. Good. I've only brought a couple home, but uh, but your pops had a couple. Of, he used to knock them down. Though. Oh, he, he still a, yeah. He, he knocked them down back in the day, and then after he got divorced, he, he did all right. For, Salam alaikum. Oh yeah, my so, mom. She, she my mom will leave so voice. So what's that? My so mom will leave voicemail. They got divorced, right? right. So, but every once in a while, they have some piece of business w- w- regarding property or sure. something that she, she's got to call him or some family thing. Right. So. She has taken to start calling him like Muslim because he's from Turkey and okay. he married another woman from Turkey, but he's not Muslim. Right. But that doesn't stop her from leaving voicemails and she leaves a she voicemail. Calls and goes, him the uh, she goes, Hello, Sultan Harry. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Sultan Harry. Uh, I Yo, need some papers. Uh, call me back if you, uh, come when out you get of away your from your, har- your harem. No, oh, that's all right. Harry yeah. Hussein yeah. Tarjanian? I mean, it's basically that. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I think he left one today. Oh, uh, Assalamu alaikum. You're something from the harem. All your women in the harem. Oh, she makes me laugh. But it just mutters at the end, you piece of shit. <laughs> Hold on, you got it? Assalamu alaikum. Sultan. Sultan. Muhammad. <laughs> Today she called him Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me draw you, you motherfucker. <laughs> and then she's like, "How come you don't talk to me anymore?" I go, oh. <laughs> like it's a mystery. I've told you specifically why I cut you out of my life because you're a volatile person <laughs> who's so trying to tell- harass my dad. Who you've been—it's been 15 years. Move on. <laughs> Move on. But she don't even like him. She just likes torturing him. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there's yeah. holidays. You know. Oh God. But Harry's pops, Harry's pops, while we're recording, Harry's pops is very active. Like, right. while we're doing the show. Oh, sure. Uh, hey, well, uh, oh, when I'm well, recording in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some, uh, hey, uh, uh, he makes a lot of you're noises. On, you're on cheese? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm recording in the fucking thing. <laughs> okay, I'll just come in. The Zoom shows, because I stayed with my dad at his place right. before I was waiting to get an apartment with my girl. So I didn't want to sign a lease, so I'm at my, stuck at my dad's in, like, this limbo. Right. And I was recording in the garage, and he's open in the garage, and it's like, hey, it's hot in here. Do you want to open? I'm recording a fucking show. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, goes, oh, I'm just trying to be helpful. And then I open the garage. I go, oh, you want to be helpful? Let's. Oh, it's raining outside. Let's open it up. <laughs> nice 80 degree rain. Dad, Harry used to get really upset. Now he just he plays into it yeah. and goes further. Right. And I go, then you mean fa- like this? Then his father curses him out. Yeah. Uh, so much fun. Mm-hmm. Um, we were talking about the. Harry, you saw the Chappelle, the Chappelle special on and Netflix that yes. he dropped this week. Yes, What'd I did. You think? I did. What'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I always enjoy Chappelle, even if he's. Um, I don't know that it was the strongest joke wise his special, but even the stories, he, he's always compelling. So I enjoy him being compelling. I thought the direction was interesting to go head on in a weird way into the. Uh, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> in, in, into the uh, the transphobia part situation. Se- part seven. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I thought that was interesting. Like two specials he I, about I, this I just it well, might be the third. It's hard to keep track. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a lot. It's, it's easily the third, and you're making a point now. And you yeah. can obviously tell where I stand. Yeah. And so let me be very clear. Obviously, Chappelle's the fucking greatest. I'm, I'm gonna see. I saw all this everything. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, and I always will. The, it. 
he is affected. It did stick in his craw that he wasn't coming off like a good person regarding, regarding the trans stuff to me. And yeah. and that's what this special was all about. And that's what the whole fucking hour, 10 minutes was all about. I think he pretended is also about women, but we know yeah. it's safe to assume he doesn't hate women. Yeah. It's 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 safe to assume he certainly doesn't understand uh, what uh, being a transgender person is. I th- you know, like, oh, I just looked up feminism is in the special. Like, did you, adult? This today. You're older than me. Yeah. Like, you're not bad. Like, if you really give a fuck, which is what you're pretending you're doing, uh, learn that transgender isn't a noun. Just start with that. Yeah. Give a little shit. Like, I know when he's making a joke and it's fucking funny. Uh, you know, yeah. it was very funny him saying uh, uh, Chris Jenner, first year, yeah. uh, b- becomes a Pink woman juice. of the year. She didn't have a, even have a period yet. It'd right. be like if it's a black person of the year and I'm in the audience and uh, right. the winner is Eminem. Right. Yeah, it's still fucking hilarious. Right. Mm, but yeah, then yeah. there's other stuff where he's being, you could tell he's being sincere. And I also get bothered by, and I'm not this mad, by the way, but I also get bothered <laughs> uh, by when he says, uh, when he said about the other specials, like, hey, I'm just trying to make people laugh. Right. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's, you're, no. you're 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 talk. I mean, you're, you're special about George Floyd. All this, you, 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 you you're smart. About, That's you, why we like you because exactly. yeah. you're smart and you know what's going on. You know, it's 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 like Joe Rogan and I love Joe Rogan, but it, it's Joe Rogan saying, uh, "Hey, am I getting all this fucking hassle saying don't get the vaccine?" Which he's he's still you know triple yeah. downing on, so he right. believes believes don't get the yeah. vaccine. Hey, what do I know? I'm an idiot. That don't doesn't mean me. me. Yeah, Keith yeah, Malley yeah. goes. Uh, Al Joe Rogan, he's a fucking idiot, and Joe would hear that and go, I am! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> be, right, right, right. He'd be like, fuck Keith. Yeah. He, he knows he's not an idiot. And I, and I like Rogan overall, but I do think he kind of uh, disavows what uh, reach he has, which yes. I... I don't know. It's I guess big. I go back and it's forth on sure. whether you have a responsibility or not. Of but, course you do. Yeah. Talk to the uh, ex... Uh, leader of the Proud Boy, you got right. you, yeah, yeah. you you yeah. you not only have to watch, and I mean, Keith, you you're the yeah, OG but does that... of podcast, like you were doing podcasts with people didn't know what the word meant, right. and uh, you start to realize that you just can't say what you believe in terms of truth. You have to also keep in mind if I say it like this, how can somebody take those words and twist it in a way? Right. Or interpret you, it. You you gotta you gotta yeah. anticipate even that. Yes. Yes. And, and but with that said, yes. Uh, tell your truth, uh, but don't play dumb about it. Yeah. Mm. That don't go. Oh, what do I know? Then the very next day, and here's proof that antibodies are stronger than the. Well, that's not the point that yeah. <laughs> people like me are saying. But so you don't believe it. Yeah. So don't don't play dumb. Right, right. Because well, I know you're not dumb. Well, here's and it, a, here's it's frustrating. A, here's what I say more than anything. Very few times are people people actually having debates or discussions in good faith. They're they're they sure. want to well they're, they're not having discussions. They're having debates with the intention on winning. Right. And they will use rhetoric in order to to conflate issues so that they can't get pinned down because they honestly really don't want to have a real discussion about something right. because the truth, you know, I, I find this more than, you know, like when you, you're a kid and you learn math problems and your teacher says show to work. When somebody is not having a good faith argument, you can just do the Socratic method. If you ask questions it all falls apart because it's not based in truth and in right. in 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 and in, in inconsistencies and the, the the and sometimes even if the inconsistencies aren't on purpose because i also understand that people don't really understand logic yeah. like they should understand logic but if you're asking the questions and it's a good faith argument then i show you where the inconsistencies are then you go Fair enough. I didn't. I didn't think of that. Right. Instead of creating all this rhetoric and stuff for conflating of mm-hmm. red yeah. herrings and straw men and yeah. you know all that. I, I don't see how Chappelle puts out the closer and then sits at home going. I, I mean, he must. Have, he must yeah. think it will. Is he surprised? Looking at my point is, is he surprised looking at social media and going like, that didn't solve it. Right. right. More problems. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's it's at least two specials that uh, seem sure. anti-trans. Now we're at three. It's a fucking bugaboo of yours, yeah. and that's strange. Yeah. Well, it's I I think also because you know when he at the end 
when he talks about the trans Spoiler woman that alert. came. Yeah, people who haven't <laughs> yeah, heard it. Well, no, I mean, if somebody hasn't heard it's, it, I don't it want to does ruin it. It doesn't ruin an hour. But spoiler minutes. alert. You can spoil it. You want to skip the next. Stand, yeah, yeah but it's still, a, it's still a thing. So, so. he has this girl who, who yeah, trans, you can say girl, it trans now. woman who, uh, who he well, befriended. wanted to be friended. And he, went, so, and I mean, he talked about it during the last special. Yeah, and then so the woman, he put her on stage, let him open for her. And six days later, she got this... She she took up for for uh, after his special after his came special, out. He took up for her, and then she got really trashed on the internet. And then she six, she stood up for him. Yes, yeah, and so for, she got trashed for and her. And then yeah. she she committed suicide six days later. Yeah, yeah. Which the inference was that you know that that, that, that the lesbian community is basic, uh, bullies. Yeah, yeah, that they you know which, which was well. Uh, he did say I don't know if that that didn't cause yeah, it. I'm sure there's know, other things, yeah, but yeah, it didn't yeah. help. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Which I, would, I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt it. I don't need sure, it yeah. for 30 fucking minutes, and that's your fucking throwing the mic across the room moment. Mm. Well, it, because it makes it okay, because I made a trust fund. I, I created Jesus, a- yeah. I, th- I was waiting for him to at least for one second go, and I don't say that to seem like a hero. I say that because, and that wasn't there. Right, that wasn't it. It was yeah. like, no, I'm being a hero. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's it's a lot to a degree, but and then I wonder how much of it do you lean on with jokes? Like that's what I mean by is how much is the responsibility when you're doing jokes? But then that that wasn't a joke. He's telling a real story. It's just a story. And, yeah. and of course you could tell you could just tell a story, but I I didn't come in arms folded. I, I came in. Yeah. It's going to be edgy, and yeah. I guarantee I'm going to like it more than hate it. I, I think I laughed five times, and I'm I'm not lying. Yeah. Um, it was definitely riveting, uh, you know. Listening I wasn't bored because I like him, but he, yeah, okay. it's is. compelling. It had it had great jokes in it throughout. I, I, got, I, felt. I like that he wakes you up with the uh, hitting the mic on your fucking oh, leg. That's, that's oh, funny. It, it shows we're paying attention. I had the over and under at uh, fifteen, and I oh. won oh. <laughs> big. I picked over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I actually, he never hears what he's about to say for actually, a guy that practices all the time. I actually think he got that from Greer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Greer, the, Greer has been doing that for a long time, and then and then when I didn't really, he didn't really do that. Is it just a think, like so that like I'm taking it's, up time to it's think? It's sort of tick. You know what I mean? Right. Like, what do I do, Harry? I, I he also to touches tick. his clothes a lot, Chappelle. This yeah. one was the middle button. Yeah, um, I, I, I a tick that you have. Yeah, I have like a. We all kind like of I'll, I'll bullshit. Like I'll do like you know grab grab a grab a drink or like you know fake like mm, isn't that something as I'm thinking yeah, is yeah. that what his his yeah, hammer is? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's like I'm. It's so funny. I have. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But, 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 but also but, it's the reaction that you get from the crowd. Maybe he yeah, thinks yeah, it it's is. It's a thing now. Oh, yeah. it does. Yeah. it does yeah. work that way. It I mean, makes it, you. It makes you. You're great. telling me you can't control yourself? Well, I'm in the audience. I certainly can't control right, right, myself. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's it's it's. This is so funny that I can't. I'm. I, this is even right. funny to me. And then they know that he's. They like him. They're right. fans. They. He's enjoying himself, and so they sure. go. We, we, we're all gonna. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, you I know? saw. I saw people brought up. Uh, there is. Uh, what the, looks like a gay couple to me and close to the front. Yeah, yeah. And soon after soon after the thing starts, they're kind of arms folded. They're yeah, upset. They're, and people yeah. are saying, uh, you know, what did they expect? Not anti-trans part four. Yeah. That's what they, they were, you know? Minutes. Yeah. He's, again, he's the best. Yeah. But enough. Come on. Enough. He went home going, I solved it today. Well, Don't you know what? I think, I think also, I think he's really affected by... The internet and what they say. Yes, and so Obviously. because he's so affected by it, he he's trying to act like he's not affected by it, but he is. Right. And and if he just would be honest about, he's it, a goddamn human being. We're yeah. all affected by yeah, it. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. And then they go hard body. And then there's the other thing when you when you are, I mean he starts he says I'm fucking rich and famous, you know. So now you're rich and famous. And and the thing about Dave, like I, I met Dave in like two two. 2000 right and dave even though he had a certain level of fame i mean pretty decent at that time i mean even after the Chappelle show like 2003 uh he he had a but he would still just put a hoodie on and walk in the street right like no bodyguards nothing like that and he was worth millions and you know and and he was always that kind of dude that didn't have a click and now i feel like he has a click 
Right. Like he has a crew that that hangs out with him and stuff like that. And the thing with that is, and you see this over and over again. Anytime somebody gets a click, you 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 don't people's their their salary is based on you, keeping right? you happy. You're changing those people's lives. Yeah. And so it's they, gonna be hard for to say, hey, your transgender say, thing. Learn it's an adjective, yeah, Dave. Yeah. My friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's this is not maybe this is one too many right. trans special. I mean, I still maybe. thought it was great. Um, but I was like, I've, I've seen. Yeah. I, I mean, to say it's great. I I I know uh, nobody's that can do an hour special better than that last no, one. No. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, especially considering it was the third uh, transgender. At least. In a row. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. a row. In a and row. Still... You didn't figure out your shit in three and a half hours? <laughs> yeah. Let it go. I and mean, the I... time in between it. And the t- tweets. Right. And the people that have run up on you in restaurants and places and bars and blah, 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 right. blah. And nothing made you go. Yeah. I, maybe I should but figure he did this talk, out. He did talk also a lot about how his issue is more... It's racial. It's racial than it is. Well, yeah. The but, trans right, thing. so who had it worse, and Jews how? or blacks? That's the way I saw that. It was like, no, yeah. I get it, but yeah, yeah. okay. But I here's get it. Yeah. It's, I think the thing is, and like, we were talking about this off air, like, the thing is that it's not changing. Like, I... You know, like I, you know, like we were talking about the the anti Asian hate, right? Yeah. And nobody, you know, nobody wants to see Asians have been, but you was getting your ass kicked for like, a, struggle you, more you, Asians, you, right? Well, just you be, you got your ass kicked in, for a year, and you got a anti Asian bill. Right. There's 256 anti lynching bills. Have none of them have been able to get so. You, you, you well, also, we need the whole story, Don. Well, yeah, case by case. I know it's, it's, we got to figure it out. Maybe we they were climbing a tree. <laughs> I don't. I wasn't there. It's it's just so. I, I think the, the you know you say that, but that, if you did that in a southern accent, that's probably a, a lot about, of right, right. legal defenses. I, yeah. <laughs> I just meant the the rope. I didn't mean yeah. they climbed trees. <laughs> Fuck. And even even touched on that the whole the whole suffrage thing. So feminism, white feminism, is different than black feminism. Just like right. there's. There's a whole black male, black male trans movement because they're not really included in the trans movement either. So there's still what what do they call it? Intersectionality. So you're gay and you're black, right. and you're you know. I don't, are you are you bummed out? You're only one. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, well, no, I'm actually kind of excited about it. <laughs> I'm really. I'm really excited about my my blackness. Okay. Uh, um, even though things is, you know, it's, the whole Trump era was rough for us. That was tough. <laughs> yeah, tough. Yeah. Um, but not really. You know what? I, I, it's here's the thing. I think I Trump, just saw Nazis in the street, and uh, they they really weren't talking about Jews. Dude, but <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. So yes, that was tough. But I what was that? Different? I couldn't go to Howard Beach. Like that, I mean, them being Nazis or not being Nazis right. wasn't really. They've, there's always been neighborhoods that you couldn't go through without mm. getting beat up, and in, and down south, there's still sundown. What they call sundown, mm. like if you're black and it's, it goes down. I mean, this is a known historical fact. So I think I really think you know who had the roughest time with with Trump was white liberals, like pro- progressives, because we just looked at the whole Trump thing like, yeah. I've, of course, right. like I mean, it wasn't like George Floyd wasn't happening before. It's it's happened yeah a hundred times yeah, yeah. before. That's been consistent. Uh, Latino people were getting yelled at for stealing jobs that they don't steal. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. But yeah, this so. is this is the thing. What I realize that you can't. You you, you I, what, what you're saying is you don't want to go. Who's who had it worse, Jews or right? Because you you ha- but you gotta fight it all. Like you gotta, of course, you sure. gotta, so like, I mean, you're saying like, you're not a, a you're not, you're no Harvey Milk, but you're talking right. about the trans, because it's just, you, you because there's, this is the thing I like about you. It's good. For, you're a good dude. Like just be yeah. fair. How, right. But that's <laughs> so difficult. It's so difficult for people because I feel like people are so insecure that they use these bad faith arguments to to get them in conversation so that they can validate themselves in the context of something that they don't even give a fuck about. In right. The first place. But there are right. people who you, you could say, like, especially when the the anti-Asian thing was happening or the, you know, the, the issues with uh, attacks on Jews was happening. Yeah. There were people who were like, yeah, I'm, I'm black. I don't care because you didn't care about us. Yeah, and that I exists. Mean, yeah. But 
it won't ever end if you if we continue that way. Yeah, you but it's all to, it's also kind of what he what and that's what I agree with what he with said. Chappelle, it was like, right. He was like, you know, now all like you you know, it's it's like what are we keeping score? Oh, right, the only right. person that doesn't want to keep score is the person that's winning already. You're like, right. oh, come on, let's let's move on, guy. Come on, guys. You know, right. but you don't feel that way sometimes, Dante. You definitely feel that way. At oh, times. well, yeah. look. When people talk about the opiate epidemic, I don't give a fuck. Right. Because during the crack epidemic, you didn't give a fuck. Didn't give was, a fuck. First yeah. of all, it wasn't it wasn't an epidemic. It was the it was the the scourge of crack. It was criminality. It was locking people up. And one of the main reasons why. A lot of the opiate uh, addicts and stuff now don't have the services that they would have had was because during the crack area, they cut funding on those on drug right. rehabilitation. And so, sure. Because, but this is the thing that this is the thing what, what I don't think that people understand how how the racism gets. It hurts everybody. Like I have a, uh, my sister is in a, a non, she, she works for a nonprofit organization for this lady who have, has cured uh, different kinds of cancer, black, uh, black uh, cancer, black, they have black cancer. Oh, wow. Uh, but, uh, she's a black scientist. And she was saying that when she was, she was coming up with this thing about where it's, it, where she was using nanobites okay. to, to, to cure cancer. And the other scientists, the white male scientists, would not. They were sabotaging mm-hmm. her. They wouldn't let her get the the equipment that she needed, the centrifuges and right. stuff. And so she had to go to other black scientists to get the stuff. Right. But here's the some. But cancer doesn't. It ain't racist. Right. You know. So get, maybe, well, maybe we don't know enough yet. I don't feel yeah, <laughs> the jury is still out. I don't think so though. I don't. I don't <laughs> If you can't yeah, respect all points of view, yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. And so I, I just think that this is, and this is why I enjoy Keeps Company because it's, it's always a good faith argument. Always, right. he'll let, let me you. hear. Like, okay, what you got? Let's, right. I can change my mind. Sure. Change, you know. Sure. In fact, it changed me. Change my mind because then I learned something from it. And I so, better right, uh, like Keith and the girls going on for seventeen years. I better learned a thing or fucking two. Years. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Where are we at? Nine? We're at nine. We still have to do another eight. Uh, wait, another. Yeah, no, another eight. Well, just worry about the one at a time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take it one, one show at a time. You're having a, you're having a brain aneurysm. Just one year at a time. And what if? What do you think has changed in the, in the whole game now? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I hate. I, I, I want to just do the podcast, period. And you have to keep up with all the social media stuff. Yeah. And... Yeah. And I, I don't know. Interacting is very fun. We have keithandgirl dot com slash chat. A chat room every Wednesday at eight p.m. People join that. I I, I would like that. I don't want to have to Post. Facebook, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, and fun interactions come from that. Yeah. But what I would what I would like is if the whole world can agree on two platforms, and, and that's, that's it. it. Right. And now yeah. I don't want to learn. I, 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 go I don't want to learn new thing. I like go that. with one. One yeah. platform would be fine. Uh, like when Facebook went down very recently, Facebook, Instagram, like five hours, I, th- I think it was freeing to people. Yeah. I think there was a there was a whistleblower on, on 60 Minutes. On 60 Minutes, It didn't sure, really yeah. teach me nothing new, but, but the point was uh, they, they push these algorithms so people fight, long yeah. story short, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think Facebook then said, yeah, well, we're going to take down Facebook for five hours. Miss us? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that bitch. Okay, now here's uh, now here's Without your stuff it. back again. And people liked it for a second. Oh my yeah. god, we're on Little House on the Prairie. But then it came back and it's like, oh thank yeah. God, because I did take two. First of all, nobody shots. nobody read books. They just went over right. to TikTok yeah, yeah. or Twitter. No, right. Twitter right. did well. Right. You just did Twitter's like, YouTube. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you did YouTube. I guess <laughs> yeah. Snapchat if that's still a thing. I have right. no idea. Uh but the other conspiracy theory is that they uh, somebody is like, bullshit, they are destroying evidence. <laughs> like they're taking this five hour to destroy evidence oh, yeah, that fine. needs to be destroyed. Yeah, it was it was it was fucking insane. But the the uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But I mean, you know, because mm. he's the goat. But yeah, sure, you know, I think sure. he's the best of all time. I, I just I wish I could just slap him, sit up and pontificate for pontificate ma- minutes on end. Just, but he does it in a very yeah, I oh, mean, it's, it's, part of it is look listen not everyone gets that even at a celebrity level yeah right there are people who they over arc it and you can see that like the fame causes the material to go down or they're not compelling for that long like i didn't love kevin hart's last special 
No. Right. Uh, well, that I, was the, the one, one where he did pandemic. it in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah he didn't I, give a fuck. I didn't love well, that. I also didn't, I didn't but, like that one because I feel like... You know he's. He, I don't. I don't. I just. He's so rich. I don't think he's relatable. Well, anymore. don't keep telling me you're the hardest working man in show business and make a special like that in your living room. <laughs> I don't believe your kids were really upstairs, yeah. even though I saw it. So it's, it's <laughs> that's I, weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I. I think the other thing is you. You know that Kevin's Kevin's style is is relatable. This is my family. You get me. We're all. Yeah. We have sure. families and. And when you're millions of dollars. I have dollars, a family, yeah. Yeah, but when you're millions of dollars and you're talking about your pizza oven. Right. It's like, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, I don't, dog. Uh, I remember being a kid and Lifestyles Rich and Famous and I'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why? Right. Why do that? I'm a dynasty. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, but I do love your second yard. Right, right. And third like, pool. Yeah. But the, the point is he is compelling regardless of whether yes. it's not. Like, if Chappelle's special, yeah. I, mean, I don't even know if this is a fair question, mm-hmm. if that was his first special, would you have given a fuck? I still think it was compelling. I don't I don't yeah, give a shit whether I, it's... Uh, this well, guy's going to grow. I don't know. Because this is pretty. I good. get it. It's this not funny. Pretty out it's there. compelling. But, yeah. I get it. I but get it. I, I don't give a shit whether it's somebody, whoever it is, even if I like and them. He pulls a he pulls a laugh out whenever he wants to. Right. Like he, he, he And they are there. Yeah. And yeah. the laughs are good and it's stuff that surprises you when yeah. he does Yeah, the M M&M M thing was dope. Yeah. The M M&M yeah. thing was dope. And and I guarantee there are two others yeah. in that hour ten minutes. <laughs> They're just not coming to us right now. But I enjoy I, the shit out of it. But yeah. I, I do understand the, the Mary issues with and it. Harry. What he wouldn't like it. What happened? But marry the special you love it oh, so much. Geez. I would fuck it. No, you'd fuck it, but not marry it. Would, would you string it along yeah, for it. a little bit, though? Yeah. Promise it that I you would kill it, though. I I'd, I'd find it. out what my dad did to it first. Uh, uh, you don't want to do that. You know it's funny. My did. girl was uh, asking a lot of knee rubbing there. There's a lot of knee rubbing. In my girl was and... asking me this question. Speaking of uh, stringing something along or whatever. Um, uh, what was it? Oh. She got hit up by this uh, ex of hers, right? She, you know, she tells me all this shit. As we do. As as it's known <laughs> right. to happen. And she goes, this guy was getting married. And uh, goes, hey, I want to have one last fling. Wow. This was years. They haven't seen each other in years. And we're not in a relationship. We're just in. She goes, what the fuck is up with that? She was asking me, well, what is gotta, up with that? You've got to ask her what the fuck is yeah, up with right. that. Yeah, right. That's the real question. Like, there's a reason. Not to blame he's, the victim. Why was he comfortable he's, doing that? Yeah, he's either No, so... meaning why is she getting married and doing that? Like, if why are you marrying somebody? Because he doesn't want to be married. He doesn't right. want to be married. Right. That's be what married, I explained to but her. He, but I'm saying he would. Or I he, thought you were going to ask what would give him the audacity. No, 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 no. Yeah. The audacity is just it's a guy shooting his shot. Yeah. It's All it is right. is she goes, I don't understand. Like, we haven't seen each other in years. He knows I'm leaving. He knows, uh, like. That, from that's a friend also of a probably friend. why he rolled the dice. Right, and I go, this you don't. This is the f- uh, fourth down, fifty yard line. This, you Clock know is at is? two seconds. Also, you also just we're toss learning it in the air. how often, and we know why, right? Anybody with a brain, and if you don't get this, I guess get one. No, no but no women deliberately uh, don't tell these horrific stories. I, I, hopefully, we all we all understand why. Uh, yeah, shoot your shot. This woman might not tell Harry. If Harry's a different guy, maybe yeah. she would. Right, right. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Go and it's worked. It. It's it's worked. Yeah. Is the other thing. It worked once, or you heard a story, yeah, or from a friend of a and friend they, where it worked, right? And yeah. it's just scra- a scratch off ticket. Yeah, yeah. But don't she, cost you nothing. It's a f- she didn't understand that. I go. A lot of what guys do is scratch off tickets. It's also, a lot of the behavior is. It's also eh. you know what they you know. They, Did you say you can have one more time if I get one later? Uh, what? Oh, just to your girl? Yeah. No. Okay. 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 I said only if my dad texts you. (laughs) If my dad hits you up, family's family. In an email, you know, you gotta keep it in the family. (laughs) My man. What am I gonna do? I'm I'm not your man. I'm not your man. I'm not your man. Okay. (laughs) Eight. I'm eight. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. It's it's a weird. It's. I I'm 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 coming to a. I I want. This is something I, I was thinking about. Also. The whole point of the normalcy of how people want to be perceived, trans people want to be perceived, mm-hmm. is also that you want to get to the point where you people are making fun of you. Do you, do you understand what Say I'm saying? Say it again. Where people can make fun of you. 
Like, oh, oh, sure. Where you're nor you're so normal. The, the normal have fun the with it. Of it sure. That, that it, it, right, but that also comes with uh, that, that's the thing we've had a conversation on this show. I remember Andre was saying it like, you know, we don't care about the racist jokes if everything else was great. Like if we all had health care right, right, and we right, all had right, good right, jobs right, and right. college educations were cheap right. and there were no people dying from you know being pulled over yeah, for their seatbelt being yeah. unbuckled. Then you could have the joke, right. right? And maybe that's how trans people feel too. It's like well, they'll, Chappelle they'll, wasn't Chappelle wasn't saying here's a normal thing I'm making fun of. Yeah, no, here's no. a freaky thing I'm right, making right. fun. Sure, of. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember. Being, oh, here's another one that was funny. What yeah. he said. Mm-hmm. We uh, it's it's wrong, but it was still funny. Uh, we know a vagina is not you know these trans vaginas right. aren't vagina vaginas. It's like uh, impossible beef. It's like you right, know right, right. you know it's uh you know it's not blood. It's beet juice. It's right, beet right. juice. It's still funny. That's funny. Yeah. And, but, by the way, you can laugh at something that you don't agree with. Right. It can be funny in the context. Like that's a funny joke, even though I don't right. agree with it. Just in general, in it's general, it's a too funny. Too seriously, joke. I also, I also think wrong. there would be a situation where you you have to say that there's. The, our comfort, our level of comfort with it is is also uh, much closer to where it needs to be because of the simple fact that he is making these jokes. I mean, you know, five years ago, you like sure. wouldn't even he wouldn't even attempt that. So him? Uh, well, him. Well, no, see, the true. thing is, I think he keeps staying in that pocket, even though on purpose, on purpose for sure, yeah. but also just continuing because there's nothing that's canceled him just because of the way his life has been set up there yeah. is nothing he doesn't work for anybody right. so he's uncancelable right, right. is he too rich alluding to what you were yeah, saying yeah. where he he he's too he big do, to he fail. doesn't he's have like a, a bank th- right does does but he not, not have other experiences that we all do and the transgender thing is sticking in his head I it's just got to be a concern I just think I think it's become a cycle that has because it's been it's become a cycle upon itself because every time he does a trans joke it, it obviously generates a lot of buzz both negatively I, and then he has like to it. address he addresses that buzz yeah but so I, it I keeps think cycling into each I other I think cause... he's hurt he, I think he's really hurt I by how that. people go right. at him and it's and it's stuck in his craw because he's he doesn't I, I don't right. think he feels as though he's being hurtful and his intent I mean I don't think his intention is hurtful I said, but it, they keep smashing him on online, he just keeps getting smashed online, and I think mm-hmm. it's a really personal thing. I, like I remember, and you you look up where's the best place to sell my C necklaces, <laughs> and next thing you know, it's yeah. hate, hate directed at him. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, um, and but, he, I think the other thing is, he also, um, it, I I think I like I remember this is an old story. I remember Chappelle's car got broken in. Okay. And he he uh, he thought that um, Godfrey and Artie broke his broke in his car and stole his radio. It was like a weird okay. kind of paranoid kind of thing, you right. know what I mean? And then I remember another time he had a he said he had a dream that Tony Woods slept with his wife, right? Okay. And he cut off Tony Woods as a friend because he had a dream. Oh wow! And then. Tony, he's like, he's. I believe it was God telling me something. Wow. And Tony Woods said, "Well, he didn't tell you about Katrina. He didn't tell you <laughs> right. about, like <laughs> all, that's all he had to right. tell you was that I was trying to fuck your wife, which is so Tony. But I mean, they reckon. So there's been. I think there's moments of where he was really. He's always been a sensitive dude. Yeah, right. and I think this that really, affected him. Yeah, I really. I mean, do. look, it's all about ego and like you know, ego. To, it's part of like. But I mean, look. It takes ego to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Like, it's all about... The whole concept of stand-up comedy is egotistical. Right. Just the idea of, like, these people want... No, they need to hear what I have yeah. to say. Yeah. And yeah. not only that, we're going to charge them for it. Because yeah. yeah. that's how... That's how much yeah. they need to hear this. Keith, how much? How often do you do stand-up? I, uh, literally once a year. I once, do yeah. one show once a year. But yeah, I, I did uh, commentary on that... On one of my shows with my friends and one of my closest friends, Adam. And he's like... Please, Keith, not only tell me your thoughts. <laughs> Can I give you some money for that? Please. You're so fucking smart. <laughs> it's 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 interesting because like I think there's other levels of like you know, I mean you do you do your you put your show together, you do it, don't you? Yeah. Right. Harry does I, I, but I'm at a place right now even where artistically I will not talk about something that I don't give a fuck about. And I right. I see how and and I'm twenty years in. So Chappelle is 
30, 33, 34 right. years in. Like he's six. Started when he was sixteen. So, you know, it's a long time. So I, I think you also get to a point where I'm. I, I don't want to talk about it because it's funny. Right. I want to. I want it to be funny. I want to make it funny. Well, for the most part. And right. but I mean, you know, you you want to talk about what you want to talk about, and you I don't think you would do it just like to to stay in the limelight. I like I don't think he's that no. guy. Right. I don't think he could be the goat the way he is and not really give a fuck about. I think the honesty, there's a certain yeah. level of honesty is there. And he went away for a while too. I mean, there was a time he he never just did it to do it. Like yeah. he disappeared because he goes, I had nothing to say in that moment, yeah. or that nothing I wanted to. Yeah. Is discuss there, or be in the spotlight. For. Is there something weird? This this is uh, with definitely. I'm saying this with less passion than everything else. Is is the branding thing a little strange with the giant C's and the C necklace? And it's 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 so that I buy C's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Him telling me. Yeah. He's the goat. Yeah. Him telling me it how it what a big story is. Is this? It's, it is. It's a weird branding to yeah, me. Yeah. Well, I think I don't think it's the branding. I think it's right. really. I think he's feeling that, you know. I, right. I think he's really there. Oh, I believe him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe he yeah, believes I, it. I mean, and we would say it. It's not something that we wouldn't say, you know, amongst the. I mean, we already. How many times did we say he's the goat? Sure, sure. Say, sure yeah. So let me say it right, though. Right, right. But like, if did, I said that also, on stage, he, it would be. It'd he be, did also say what? Who, who many? And it was in the the context of a punchline. It was a punchline. I think no? it was forced. No, was it? Not I thought it me. was. No, he just threw and and this woman yeah. said, and he, he said is the greatest of all time. Perceived. He's holding up his phone. He's yeah. saying that the, the, this woman said, you yeah. know, who who, we, who I, I'm going to give a lot of money to. Right. <laughs> this woman said, blah blah blah. He's he's just making jokes, and that's fine. He's the greatest of all time. And that was great. You could have left out that sentence. You would just wanted to say that. That's true. That is true. Yeah. You could have left that part out. But, but. I, I don't. I also, like I said before, he was always a real quiet dude, and I think he's right. fi- finally, you know, kind of spiking the football. You yeah. know, that, I mean, for the first time at fifty years old, fifty something years well, old. Well, also, I mean, you could we could analyze him all day, but also the psychology of just winning that Chappelle show battle this year, a year ago, he finally yeah. got yeah. his uh, and he forced corporations to give him money that. They, they didn't have said, to. Fuck they did you. not have to give him. Does that. do you and guys, maybe celebrate? Maybe he's now free, like to. Are you able to celebrate. explain that full story? I feel like he told half the story. The Me? way I understand it. No, or no, Chappelle. no, Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is he saying? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, Chappelle. He leaves the Chappelle show. I understand uh, at a KKK sketch or some kind of uh, you know Blackface racial sketch. Thing, yeah, uh, a white guy laughed too hard at the audience and he left and moved to Africa. Am I missing something? He hasn't been. I don't he's think he's not he's, forthcoming on that. It's a little. Wait, I mean the whole thing? Yeah. The specifics of why he. I, I think, from what I'm hearing, You're right. That's what I mean. This was just. It was a situation where, you 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 make the deal. You know how like, like well, we're remember, all we're all clapping during this last special when he goes. You have to get off the bus in March, and I got off the bus, meaning I left Comedy Central. I still don't know the whole story. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Neither did the audience. I I, th- I just think yeah, so. I I feel like there's this thing where people turn goal. Like what I mean by that is, you know, like uh, there's a moment when people get a certain level of fame, yeah, and then there's that next level, and then they always kind of have that like Beyonce goal, or like like Latifah, like when Latifah was goal, like they they goal, yeah, like they always have this kind of facial complexion where they make the deal and it just it. it I, you know, I'm not, I'm sounding like real I, QAnon, I, Illuminati. I, I'm like, not uh, following, you know. unfortunately. How do you spell no. it? I, I, what do you mean? Go, I don't know. I just is I mean, he saying gold or gold? Gold, gold, gold. like okay. that gold Color. finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. gold. Like I remember when Latifah got the talk show and she went yeah. from from rapper to you know like yeah. and then there's that superstardom right that like maybe you think he can be the equalizer now yeah like <laughs> like yeah like that's you're flipping two dudes over at once with your wrist like, stop dog like you know what i mean but like will I smith i do like when an older character does kung fu and knows karate in, the, see, in the tv show i mean back in the day it was a lot worse right. dude you know fucking raymond All burr iron side i can watch I can watch Cannon. Do you remember oh, Cannon? Oh, Cannon, sure, yeah. Cannon, fat yeah. fucking Cannon, dude. Ugh. He was just a fat dude, balding, 
with a tight fucking right. sports shoe shirt, polyester pants, and he would just kick, at, tackle people and shit. He was like, dog, you, you. It makes that. me think of Liam Neeson now. Taking yeah, yeah, three, they just show a handshake and the guy gets thrown through a window. <laughs> like, motherfucker, you can't do that. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I William just Conrad. Want to watch De-, De Niro stomp a guy in the Irishman, right? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It was a joke. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> I could watch that over and That's over. That's insane. It's like people watch Cats. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about it. that. Was bad. I don't yeah. even remember. I don't remember what it was. They I weren't just... even balanced. Like he couldn't even. He's trying to. Yeah. He's not generating any stomp powder. <laughs> right. It's like stop, dog, stop. Right. And oh that was god. that was close to the beginning of the movie too. And I'm like, oh, we're in for a treat. We're in yeah, for a 17 hour treat. You get that. You get that. Uh, you know, I think they get to that point where it's like superstardom, and it right. just they, you know, it's like the Stepford Wives. Thing. Yeah. And I think he stopped before that with the 50. Yeah. Like, if he, I think he felt like that was where it was going. Like, now I got to join Scientology or whatever right. the fuck, you know? And then he backed off. And then I think things changed, you know, with the internet and everything yeah. changed and streaming. That, and so he, you don't really have to do that now. Like, but, but even Scorsese can't say, okay, you can't stomp anymore. Like, even Scorsese yeah. doesn't have the balls to, to tell a Dave Chappelle, can't. look up the word transgender. Yeah. Yeah, somebody should have said, "You guys, why don't yeah. you just have?" Can goons? you CGI my muscles? Get, can you goon, can you get goons? Just point. Right. You're distinguished. Yeah, guy. just point to the other point people. Point to them, right. and then your goons stomp them out. Right. Jeez, oh, I forgot about that. So bad. To... So did you show Cannon? You... Uh, I mean, do you remember Cannon, or you don't remember? Is it Cannon? a TV show? Oh, yeah, Conrad. Picture, it was like Mannix. Okay, I'm picturing Can, it. Yeah, but I don't Cannon, know. Mannix. Uh, who was the other dude? Like Mod Squad, all right. Iron Cop- Sides, or whatever. Iron Side. Uh, How old are you guys? <laughs> this was canon. <laughs> that was canon. Well, uh, Don- Jake action. the Fat Man. Yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake and the Fat Man, right? Man. Yeah. yeah, he was the Fat Man and Jake and the Fat Man. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, how do they? Th- all- that's when you can be honest with <laughs> people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it'll be this guy will be Jake. Yeah. And uh, you'll be in it too. Okay, what's my character? What's my part? Uh, okay, you'll, you'll see, just be you'll like... See, that guy was a sex symbol, you know. <laughs> William okay. Conrad? No, not the fat man. Yeah, the I'm, fit. Oh, I'm sure. The I'm fat man you. on the show? Jake and the fat man was... 80s, 70s? Fuck yeah. Dante's eating like two pieces of pie telling somebody the story. Yo, let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You think you got pussy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> let me fucking... tell you about my second season of Canon. Yeah. You know how my much trim of... I got on the my... set of Canon? <laughs> my second season of 36 yeah. seasons... <laughs> Of me, and, <laughs> me and Raymond Burr double teamed this right. uh, chorus girl on the Paramount lot. They call him the they call us the Jabba crew. I don't know why, but anyways. <laughs> oh my god, we have to wrap up this version. Uh, can we Let's do a little Patreon? Do a little Patreon? Maybe we do a little relationship little stuff on the Patreon. Yeah, why not? All What's we a... did was talk about. Can I say this? I, I'm a fan of your Patreon shows. Uh, people got a treat not too long ago. You put a you know people send in uh, questions. You guys answer them. I'm, I'm a fan of your show. I'm a fan of your Patreon. Oh, hey, please thank continue. you, Keith. Thank you, thank you. and Keith Best. and the girl. Uh, check out Keith just... and the girl. Just oh, fantastic. A trick. Go overall. ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. I want to. Oh, well, we do plugs anyway. I want to <laughs> fucking. I want to fucking not like Keith, and he. I'm, I fall no, in love with delight. him. Every, I fall in delight. love with him every time I see I him. I love both parts of that for some reason. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and look forward to this new book. My dad tried to fuck my chick. Uh, I, Simon and Schuster, I do believe it'll be. A, Keith will be doing signings at Barnes and Nobles. I think the title's going to be the dad emails or. How I catfished my dad for a year. How I catfished my dad. Are you gonna do a live reading, maybe, or play type of version of it? We back actually and forth? we had a we do a Kickstarter every year, yeah. and the last Kickstarter, one of the rewards was a uh, a reading that we're gonna do for people that uh, I would love to. So, if you ha- uh, if you uh, have uh, any room or need some okay, voices, I, I would love to. <laughs> I, I, have an, I have an idea for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're also from people that were on this show when we read these emails live. Uh, a lot of the book is um, the reaction is, is the is the oh, reactions, and so and so people all know this. It's top secret. We're gonna uh, we might put on like a little play oh, when we goodness. read it. That's that be so fun. phenomenal. Yeah. I love what you guys Can do. Can I play a dad? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, see, I think if you play his dad, it's gonna have like a little uh, different spin on it. Like, I hope he fucks that chick. <laughs> I could see why she'd want to fuck uh, Keith's dad. Uh, um, Why is Keith's dad so oiled up and dressed in a loincloth? But you have to talk like my dad, right? Listen. Listen. No one wants the medicine. No one wants the medicine. (laughs) 
But it's good for you. But it's good for you. I'm not alpha. I'm not beta. <laughs> I'm just better. I didn't even realize you were doing our intro. I go, is this what your dad? What, what the fucking backstory is this that I plug missed? The, do me, fucking do me a favor so we, yeah. and be a better bitch. <laughs> Plug the show it's so Keith we can go girl. to Patreon. It's uh, Keith and the Girl. Go to KeithandTheGirl.com. We're Keith and the Girl on all uh, so, uh, social media. And if you dig what you hear, say hi. Thank you. Uh, everything Dante Nero. Google me, Harry. Uh, at Harry Trajani and all my stuff on YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, the whole thing. Sign up for the Patreon because we're going right. to really dig into it in a little while. Uh, yeah. Go to Patreon. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash man school 202. You can get the Patreon there. Um, yo, it's GYBB. Get your balls back. WWDD, whatever Dante do. Sexual Revolution is being podcast. And I love y'all, man. See y'all on the other side. <laughs>